Okay, we're looking at the underside of an S650 Mustang. The BMR suspension is brought here. What kind of things have you done to this car, Glenn? All right, well, we've got the um, CB762 chassis support brace. Okay. Full poly bushing kit. TR5 tow rods. Lowering springs. Sway bar. Full length chassis jacking rails, CJR002. Drive shaft um, loop. Safety loop. KM760 Street K member. Also the front sway bar. So this chassis like just came these just became available. How have you guys managed to create all this stuff in such a short time frame? Luckily 90% of it is the same as the SI. Oh really? So you just carried it over, huh? Okay. Yeah, the differences are gonna be the sway bars are gonna be slightly different. Yeah. Um, control arm bearing is smaller on the um, Okay. So if you have one of these Mustangs and uh, you know you want to improve the handling characteristics of it. What's the first thing you would do? Uh, for a street car, I would do CB005, which we don't have on here, but it's a cradle bushing lockout. Oh, okay. And it's going to have a little support that runs from here to here. Yeah. That's that's probably the the best bang for your buck. Okay. And what what is that? It just improves the stiffness of the chassis, or? And, uh, it locks out the movement and the cradle bushings front and oh, rear. Oh, okay. And Get rid of rear steer. Yeah. The car will be more predictable. Yeah, you can put the power to the ground better. Huh? harder. Okay. I had a fourth gen F body, and people always said the first thing you want to do is the subframe connectors, but it probably improved in car design over the last uh, 20 years. So, yeah, factory independent suspension, all these aluminum components, and very complicated. Uh, it's no longer double wishbone, you know, it's a lot, a lot of stuff going on there, all those links. So any, anything, um, any major kind of technological differences you've noticed between the, the latest Mustang and the predecessor? Or? This one has a lot more coolers. Yeah. It's got the transmission cooler. It's got an oil cooler. Okay. Interesting they use a plastic, uh, you know, valley cover for the transmission, but, you know, they know more about this stuff than I do. I would just think aluminum would be better heat dissipation, so... Can you show me some of the other things at the booth? Sure. Okay. This is our fourth gen Camaro K member manual rack system. Coilovers, upper controller mounts, upper control arms. Okay. The side's kind of more of a race application with the adjustable parts with the rod ends. That's all it's got high power bushings. Yeah. We offer solid mounts as well as poly mounts. Okay. This 197 Mustang, K member. This is a race only A arm. Yeah. And that side's the street. Okay. So it still uses a spherical joint here, though, huh? We do also offer that in a poly bushing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's this one? Challenger and Charger. Okay. Is this a fourth gen Camaro or a F body? First gen. First gen. Okay. It's a torque arm system. North Carolina. Yeah, and that's uh. But he's going to be virtual, but his staff is going to stay there. Just six months okay. Okay. So, so that. Yeah, whenever they're ready. With, with yeah. this uh, system, the rear end goes straight up and down. It's not. Does it go side to side then, huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I know my fourth gen. The axle would move horizontally as it. Watts like. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.